Well, as we approach the three year anniversary of the pandemic, the discussion around mental health still rages on. Yeah, the topic of self care has also been on the rise. And here to tell us more about how you can uh, practice self care is our motivational speaker, Mr. Rich Bracken. He is back to talk uh, more about self care. We've talked about this uh, topic a lot, it's a very important uh, topic. For those who may not be aware of it, tell us what self-care is, Rich. Sure. Self-care is really anything that you do that invests in yourself, both physically and mentally. And a lot of people get it misconstrued. You know, when we think of self-care like, oh, I'm going to go to the spa for the day. I'm going to go get my nails done or whatever, which sounds great. But at the same time, there are little things that you can do on a daily basis to invest in your self-care. Think of it as refueling yourself as the day goes on. Mm. If you completely go through the day and you're pushing your limits and you're not investing in yourself, you're going to wind up burning out. And we've had this conversation more so since the pandemic, but it was a big problem before the pandemic. And mm -hmm. it really made us understand when we had to stop and figure out what was going on during the pandemic that we needed to invest in more self-care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm guilty of this too, but you know, doing self-care maybe once a week. But why is it so important to do it? every day every single day it's, it's like your your car or you know eating food and refueling yourself if you're not investing in it every single day you're going to deplete yourself you're going to get to a point where you're burnt out you're going to get to a point where you're developing anxiety depression insomnia a lot of different health problems are going to come along because you're not investing in your self-care so it's really important to check in with yourself every single day and see what you need both physically and mentally to be successful and happier I like that. How come people don't do self-care? What are the reasons they give themselves? The number one reason <clears throat> that people don't invest in self-care, and I don't know where are we camera, <laughs> Kansas City. Over here, over here. Over here. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. You have time. You absolutely have time to invest in your self-care. It takes less than five minutes. You could do so many things in less than five minutes just to invest in your self-care because those little pockets of time throughout the day, think about drinking water throughout the day. You don't have to drink gallons and gallons of water every single time you stop. Right. It's the little ones all day long. And I actually put up a document on my website just for the Fox 4 viewers at richbracken.com uh, backslash self care that has 50 ways that you can invest in yourself in under five minutes. And all of them are fun, all of them are relaxing, and all of them are super, super easy to do. Speaking of that, I mean, for someone like us who's super busy, have these early hours, can you just give us maybe two or three things we could do in a short amount of time? <clears throat> Absolutely. I think the, the self-affirmation is a big one because that's, that's a form of self-care. Because they think about, like, the way our mental creep comes along, the imposter syndrome that comes along. So when we tell ourselves, hey, I'm very talented at doing these things, I'm very able, I'm very valuable, I'm worthy of these things, that is one easy way of doing it. And you can do that anytime, anywhere. You could do it while you're, you know, I'm doing it right now while we're having this conversation, so it's that easy to do. But the other thing is just block time to take a walk, block time to get up and stretch, block time to, to send a note to somebody just to say, hey, I appreciate you. Those little investments of time will pay dividends for your health, both mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. okay. Has anybody ever said, you know, self-care can be selfish at times? You know, I think people think that, but those are the people that I would say are not setting the right boundaries for themselves or with others. So if I say, hey, look, I need 10, 15 minutes to myself to go relax, go stretch, go listen to music, go listen to a podcast or something like that, that's me investing in me. And so if somebody says, well, that's really selfish of you, that's somebody that doesn't respect my boundary or my value. Mm -hmm. So if you've got somebody in your life that says, hey, look, you're being really selfish, Nick. Christy, you're, like, you can't do this. I need you and I need your time. So you investing in yourself is selfish. That person needs to stay on the other side of your mental fence. Okay. Make sure I that they stay out of, their, out of your that yard. that answer, Rich. I yeah. love that yeah. answer. Boundaries included there. Everybody's got to have their own set of boundaries. Yes. And um, yeah, keep them on the other side of the fence. <laughs> Absolutely. Great stuff. Good yeah. to see you as always, Rich. Good to see Another you. Another great lesson in self-care. We'll see you again in about a month. All right. All right. Sounds Thanks. good. Coming up.